Hey everybody, Kendra the Vet Tech here, coming to you on our first study session Saturday. So when I originally had this plan, I was really wanting to come to you guys live on Saturday afternoons and chat for five or 10 minutes about either topics that you guys had questions about and had submitted to me or things that I had come up with. And unfortunately with my internet now being only slightly faster than dial up, that plan is not going to work out. So they'll just be pre-recorded videos that I'll upload to my Facebook page every Saturday afternoon, um, again, with topics either I've come up with or if you guys have questions about things you're learning in school or stuff that's come up that you're seeing in practice that you'd like a little more information on or explained in a little more detail, just let me know, send me those ideas. But for today, we'll go ahead and get started on our first lesson that I have lined up here, which is simply identifying controlled substances, controlled drugs, and being able to differentiate differentiate them from others within the hospital. So I'd like to start out first by just simply giving a definition. What is a controlled drug? So a controlled drug is a drug or a chemical whose manufacturing, possession, and use is regulated by the government. So what you'll see with controlled drugs within practice are that there will be log books. So anytime we get new new allotments of that drug into the hospital that will be added into our logbook. And anytime we administer the drug or dispense it regarding a patient, that will also be written down in our logbook. So that's the way that the government keeps track of them for us, or we keep track of them for the government as required. They're set up on, it's called a schedule. So it's a scale from the most addictive potential to the least potential to become addictive. So it goes from one to five with five being the least addictive. The, the things that are going to be C1 are things that are actually illicit or illegal drugs. So you wouldn't see them in medicine. That's gonna be things like heroin, LSD, cocaine, stuff that we wouldn't be using in medicine. So we'll see the two, three, four, and five within our practice, used within our practice. And the drugs that are in this on the schedule here are benzodiazepines, dissociatives, barbiturates, and most opiates make the list for controlled drugs and are on this schedule here. If you don't know what any of those classes are or any of the names of the drugs within them, that's no problem. That's not what we're learning here today. Today, we're gonna set you up with the knowledge to be able to simply know that certain substances are controlled drugs and do need to be given to the proper personnel within your hospital to be taken care of accordingly. Like we've talked about, or like I talked about earlier, these drugs are logged. So since they're kept track of very closely, Anytime you unpack an order, maybe find some that were mistakenly put up on the pharmacy shelf or notice them in any areas where the public can access, we want to make sure those are picked up and given directly to people who can log them or lock them away safely because these, do dr these drugs do require being locked in a safe or in a cabinet within your hospital at all times. So how we know what the controlled drugs are is on the drug label, there will be a C with a Roman numeral inside of it, just like I have on my poster here. So a C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. So we're going to be looking at the drug labels to determine whether or not this little symbol is present. So I've got my little trash bucket, things that were appropriately discarded as empties, and I'm gonna show you some labels for controlled drugs. So this first one here, you'll see the drug name there, morphine, and then the C2 beside it. The next one I have here is also a C2 hydromorphone, and it's a C2. I have a few C3s, so I've got um, this little ketamine here. Sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up quite as well because of the color of the label, but you'll see that it's got a little tiny C3 over on this side of the label. The other C3 I have is the euthanasia solution, the pink juice. You'll see that it's got a nice big C3 over on the side. 
I have some C4s for you. So I have some butorphanol, abutorphanol empty here. You'll see the C4 over on the side. And then I have a couple of different versions of midazolam just so you can see the difference. So here's one with a little tiny C4. And then this one is even tinier, has a little C4 over on the side. Some other drugs that you'll see used commonly around the hospital but are not our control drugs. One of them is dexmedetomidine. The trade name is dexdomator, one of them that's commonly used. There is another generic. So that's what that label looks like. And you can see that there's not a tiny little C to be found. His little friend, Mr. Antecedent at Adipamazole here. There's his label close up. And once again, you can see there is no C or Roman numeral to be found on that label. One that we commonly use for equine sedation is detomidine. And that one, the trade name is dormosidine that's commonly used. And this one here is also not controlled. Take a close look at that label. You'll also see that there is no little C or Roman numeral on that one. Some other drugs that are used in regards to general anesthetic procedures but are not controlled drugs are propofol in your gas inhalant, either isoflurane or sevoflurane. Typically, hospitals choose to lock these drugs up anyway, even though they're not technically controlled substances. So do make sure you understand the protocols of your hospital. And I'll show you the label here. No little tiny C anywhere on that propofol there. And then our ISO, none to be found on there. All right, guys, well, that wraps us up for today for our very first study session Saturday. I hope that you learned a few things today and have some knowledge to take back to your hospital with you to be able to practice better medicine and better guidelines surrounding your controlled drug protocols in your hospital. Thanks, guys.